All right. What's good, y'all? Uh, it's Moose, Modern Moose, Moose Around, Baja, Nux, whatever you want to call me. Um, yeah, bro. Uh, it's back. Podcast is back. Um, you know, the first episode, I just decided I'm going to make it about why well, I took some time off and like what's going on with me. And then, you know, we'll go from there. Uh, so basically, la last time I had an episode for the podcast was back in August. And I was interviewing with my boy Tyson. Uh, and it was, basically, I was just catching up, you know, learning new things about him. He was learning new things about me. And, you know, that was, that was right before I transferred to come to NYU. And I actually transferred... Actually, I should probably not start with transferring. I should probably start with basketball. So basketball-wise, I I did play basketball my freshman year. I was at Franklin Marshall. And that's actually why I started the podcast because, you know, I was trying to find interest outside of basketball. And I decided to, you know, find a new outlet. And the podcast was that. I feel like I connect with people well and... I, I love talking, <laughs> so, you know, I decided to make a podcast, and, you know, it, it was going kind of well, <clears throat> and I really wanted to continue doing it, uh, and I had a bunch of plans for it going into NYU, I mean, like, it's literally New York City, like, there's so many possibilities, and, you know, I just didn't end up following suit with that, and that was because of basketball, so... Like I said, I didn't play basketball my freshman year at Franklin Marshall, and then I transferred, and I started off as the manager here. So I actually started off as the manager here, um, like wiping the, wiping the court before the practice started, doing the scoreboard, like literally anything, like counting possessions of every player on the team, like literally any managerial duty you could think of, I was doing for about two months, and you know, if you know me personally, you know there's a lot to the story I'm, I'm not uh, disclosing, but I basically going into October 15th, like the week of October 15th, I spoke to my assistant coach and I was like, yo, like I really want to be a part of this team. Like I really want to be a player. Like as much as I said in that the meeting I had earlier with you, like that I want to be like do everything to be a part of this team. I would love to be a player on the team as well. And the coach basically told me, like, there were one injury away from you being on the team. Or not I me mean, being on the team, just, like, being able to practice. And I was like, okay, you know, like, my bad. Like, I came off, came off a little strong. Um, and then that practice, literally somebody, like, I, God forbid, I don't ever want anyone to get injured, but one of my boys gets injured. And I'm just like, like, damn, like, and to me, like, it's weird. It's weird to be in a like a, a manager walk on spot in that retrospect because it's like, that's my man's, but it's also like, that's the opportunity, you know, next man up. And I, obviously, I was the next man up, and I got that opportunity, and you know, I played solid in that practice, and then that whole rest of like rest of the week of practice, I got to play in practice, and. That week, they actually had an inner squad, which if you don't know what an inner squad is, is like a scrimmage amongst the players on the team. And they needed dudes. They literally had like nine, 10 dudes. Like me and a coach played in the inner squad. And, you know, I got my chance. You know, Moose like played hard as hell, like making plays, all that. And a coach said, you know, my coach always used to use this, uh, this phrase, like I'm, Moose, you're climbing the ladder, you're climbing the ladder. And <laughs> um, after that, that inner squad, he basically told me, yeah, you're climbing the ladder. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. He shouted me out in front of the whole practice. And, you know, that was just like the stepping stone. And then that week, I got a practice jersey. And I was officially a practice player. Didn't have to do any manager like duties, such as like wiping the court. I still had some manager duties, but not as many as beforehand. And then... After that week, am I remembering this correctly? 
So after that week, we had a scrimmage. So this is really funny, actually. So after that week, we had a scrimmage, and I basically told like oh, we had a scrimmage, and I had I still had like a loop. I had a practice jersey, and I was like, so am I? Do I suit up for the scrimmage as a manager? Or do I suit up for the scrimmage as a player? And like. This confusion was known only by me and the players on the team, but like, I don't know, like if the coaches saw like I suited up as a manager, would I have not played in the scrimmage? If, like, I don't know, but I ended up, I ended up suiting up like as a player. And I, you know, I warmed up with the team and the coaches didn't say anything. I was like, okay, I'm gonna just keep warming up. You know what I'm saying? And from then on, like I, I, I like warmed up with them the whole game and then at the end, so like there's a scrimmage and then there's a scrimmage for the people who don't play in the scrimmage. And I was amongst that group who didn't play in the scrimmage. And there's like five minutes for that, that second group to play. And I'm like, oh, no chance I get in, right? And then three minutes go by and I just hear moose. I'm like, ah, I start sprinting to the sprinting to the table and you know, I got I got a little chance, you know, I got me a little steal. And like, this is in two minutes, I got me a little steal. Got me a little melody, like, and I got, it was great. Like I got to play in the scrimmage and it was funny. Cause like, I remember one of my friends told me like later on that, that day of the scrimmage, like the person who was doing the scoreboard actually asked like, yo, who is this kid? And then our coach said, oh, that's like a manager or player. Like he didn't even know what to call me. And you know, I just thought that was really funny. And then we had another scrimmage uh, this time, the second group that didn't get to play in the, the official scrimmage got 10 minutes. So I had even a, a larger sample size to play off. And I had like four minutes to play and like my points per minute average was crazy. Like I had like five points, got me a little two rebounds, probably a steal. Like, uh, and like, I was just, I, I got, I got, I made the most of my opportunity. You know, a lot of people say it'd be luck, but and I think luck only comes to people who are prepared and I was prepared. I've, I've been preparing for this for like two years now. And, you know, and I finally got a Jersey after a month of just being a practice player. And, you know, that was a, a great time in my life. Um, great time in my life. And that was just crazy opportunity. I'm still, I'm still playing basketball now. I finally am a college basketball player officially. And yeah, so that was why I, took some time off from podcasting. Um, so like that whole time, like I would always try to find like pockets of time where I could do my podcast, but it was also like, I'm adjusting to New York. Uh, I don't know what my role is in practice. Like maybe one day I'll be the manager, next day I'll be able to play practice. Like there's a lot, bunch of moving pieces like that whole year. And, you know, I just didn't have time to, to get around, to, to, get, to get to boosting around and yeah, so that was why I took some time off. Um, but you know, now, now that I'm a little more situated, you know, back into school, I just came off a trip from China playing. We played three games in China, the NYU men's basketball team. Uh, I, I played, I actually, I played a lot over in China and that was a really, really fun and immersive experience that changed my life. Like I, I need, I'm going to back to China some point in my life but that was a lot of fun. And yeah, like, I mean, now I've just been, I'm situated and, you know, I, I honestly, with basketball, I like, especially this summer, I felt like a little bit, not, a, I wouldn't say a disconnect, but like, I just felt like there was too much pressure induced into the way I was playing, you know? It was just like, I wanted to make the like right play. I'm like, this is like summer pickup, bro. Like we're talking about summer pickup. I'm literally just like thinking about the next play, like just so stressed in the mind. And, you know, like I come back to why, like my first podcast, Tyson, um, he always said like, how if you put too much pressure on yourself, it's just nothing, like nothing could happen in that. He actually told me that there shouldn't be any pressure when you play basketball because it's just for fun. And, you know, I was playing basketball, especially this summer, in just a way where it was just like so much pressure. Like, 
and I just wanted to, you know, find outlets to, you know, reduce my stress. And you know, I would, I would play, I'd play the game. You know, I'd play the game. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a homebody, so I didn't really go out as much. But you know, I, I, I play the game. I would try and find other interests, but I really, I actually kind of forgot about my podcast. And I was like, wait a minute, like the whole reason I started this podcast was because. I needed to find more interests outside of basketball. And, you know, I remembered that I had a podcast, literally like, not not like remembered, it was always like in the back of my mind, but I remember that I did this podcast thing. And I was like, I'm coming back to this shit. Like, I need to start doing, I need to start podcasting again. And, you know, that's what I'm doing now. And podcast, like, I, I still love basketball. I still am going to, like I'm still going, I'm working ODR with basketball. Like I'm still, you know, also Kobe shit. But I need to sometimes be on some chill shit. You know what I mean? Like I just need to relax, like find other interest in life because you know basketball is in everything. And yeah, like I just I'm happy to restart this podcast. Um, I'm gonna start episodes probably next week. I don't know. I will start episodes soon. And yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm glad I, I'm getting to do this again. I hope you guys tune in. I love y'all. Thank you for the people who still follow me. Um, even though I took a long hiatus from the podcast, but I'm back and we're moving around. Let's go. I'm out. Appreciate y'all. Thank you.